We had a hurricane, we had strong storms here, and that storm blew snakes into my swimming pool. A bunch of stuff actually blew into the pool. We got coconuts, we got some leaf debris. We can see all the way down. Right there, there's something right there, toad. Let's move this. Look at that. Yeah, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna get him right now. Snake, oh, oh, where's he going? What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well, I am not going to reveal too much. All I'm going to say is on the west coast of Florida yesterday, we had a hurricane, we had strong storms here, and that storm blew snakes into my swimming pool. Guys, I just came outside to check out my pool because both Zeus and Xena were barking at the pool. Now, yesterday is when we actually had that hurricane over on the west coast of Florida. But here where I live, we got strong feeder bands. We had strong storms. So a bunch of stuff actually blew into the pool. We got coconuts. We got some leaf debris. We got all kinds of stuff. We got the pool pumps on. But the dogs were just barking and looking like something was in here. So I decided that since the dogs were here and, well, there could be something in the pool. A lot of times I have a bunch of toads that hang out in this pool they like to jump in so I decided to come record it because you never know what you're gonna find because when the hurricanes come there's actually a rise of pressure in the air and with that rise of pressure snake starts moving toads start moving all the animals start flocking and moving because they know a storm is gonna come it's within their natural instincts so I'm just scanning the pool seeing what we got in here we're gonna do a quick little walk around see what we can find because uh, there could most definitely be something in here wait what is that there's something there wait oh no it's just a leaf the pool is moving, it's going, but you know what? We're not going to be able to see totally down to the bottom because as you can see, the pool pump is on, so it's hard to see. Oh my, is that a snake? No way. All right, not a snake. That is not a snake right there, so we're going to go turn the pool pumps off. We're going. We're going to turn it off. Let's go. And what is this? Oh my gosh, we just turned the pool pump on. There's a lizard in the pool pump. Look at this. There's a lizard in there. All right, Lance is on his way. There's a lizard in the pool pump. Okay, we're depressurizing it. What, oh my gosh, stuff gets clogged up in here from time to time. I've seen lizards in here. What, the... oh my goodness. There's a lizard that just got sucked up within the pool pump. Let me try to just get the basket out. There was all kinds of leaf litter. And look at this. A poor amoeba lizard. Now this is an invasive species that we have here in South Florida. He must have gotten sucked up through the pump. That happens from time to time. Lizards actually get sucked up. Sorry for that noise. But look at this poor invasive species. Let me, let me smell him. Oh my gosh, he smells rotten. Guys, comment down below a prayer for this poor lizard because he literally just got sucked up in the pump. He probably drowned in here. I'm so sorry, buddy. Look at his little tongue coming out, guys. This is absolutely terrible to see. Even though this is invasive, I love finding these guys. So we're going to actually bury this guy, but we just got to clean this whole thing out. We're just going to clean this out right here. We're going to put it back on in and hopefully nothing else gets sucked up in here. All right. Sorry, buddy, that that happened. We're just going to close this like this. We're going to tie this on down just like that. We're tying, we're going, and wait, we gotta make sure that's sealed good. One, two, one, two, three. All right, we're good. Guys, this guy must have gotten inside of the pool and then gotten sucked up in the pump. This is just a terrible thing. So for now, I'm just gonna leave him right here so we know where to find him. But we're gonna come here over to the pool now that it's actually settled. Look at that. We can see clearly in here. We can see all the way down right there. There's something right there, toad. We've got our first invasive species right here. I knew it, there's a toad hanging out on the palm frond. These invasive cane toads, you can see there's one right there. What was that, something just moved right there. I think there's something right in here. I just saw a tail move. Let's see, let's move this. Look at that, water snake. Brown water snake inside of the pool, inside of the palm frond, okay. Lance is on his way. For those of you that don't know, Lance is my camera guy. Lance is on the way right now. I'm gonna need Lance's help because I'm gonna be diving in here trying to catch these guys. Look at this. This is insane. Water snake, toad. Guys, what else could be inside of here? Guys, comment down below. What else do you think could be inside of the pool? This chain, oh, we got Rufus screaming now, okay. Whenever I'm cruising home at night, I see a ton of water snakes because I live right by a canal that's heavily populated with water snakes, cane toads, all kinds of animals. So the change in pressure must have brought one of them into the pool right now. That change in pressure blew them into the pool. Guys, this is insane. What else could be in here? 
I'm, I'm looking to see if that's a turtle. That'd be pretty crazy if that's a turtle. All right, Lance just got here. Lance pulled up. Lance! Lance! There's a snake! And there's a toad in the pool, bro! Where? Dude, look. So there's a snake and a toad in the pool. Okay. Wait, don't step on that. Don't step oh, on that. Shoot. This was inside of the pool pump, dude. It got sucked up in the pool pump. Poor amoeba lizard got sucked up inside of the pool pump. We're gonna have to bury him. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, Lance, I'm gonna have to get in the pool all because- right. uh, I got you. All right, yeah, there is a snake. There's a toad. There's all kinds of stuff. We're gonna put the phone right over here. Okay, all right. Look at this, Lance, look. I'm not sure what else could be in here, but look, there's a, there's a cane toad right there. You see him? Oh, it's an invasive species. All right, guys, we're gonna go in the pool right now. We're gonna go right now. We're gonna do this covert style. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna try to grab the, the toad first. The, the snake is gonna hang out, but the toad could very well hop away. And these toads, I'm gonna show you why they're so bad in just a second. So yeah, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna get them right now. I got him. Invasive cane toad out of the pool. Now the reason why these toads are so bad is come look at this. These are dog killers. Right here they have a toxic gland. And this gland right here when you squeeze it, oh, oh my goodness. gosh, it got all over the camera. Guys, what just happened? This cane toad right here has toxic glands that release a toxic ooze. When you squeeze it, you can see, look at this right here. You can see all of that toxic material right there. If dogs grab these toads, this is their natural defense mechanism, is to shoot all of this nasty toxin out. And that kills a lot of dogs here in South Florida. And that is why these toads are such a bad invasive species. But luckily for me, I have a friend that actually collects cane toads. She has a bunch all the way from little babies all the way to big adults. So we're gonna keep this guy. We're gonna go put him in a bin. Oh, don't, oh, oh, don't, he almost ran away. We're gonna give this guy to my friend. So we're gonna take him now, Lance. Here you go, take, Lance, you wanna take the toad? Uh, I'm okay. No, all right, well, I'll be back with you. We gotta put him in a bin. One minute, 37 seconds later. The toad is in the bin, and now we're just gonna start pulling this palm frond out. I wonder if there's any sort of an animal in here. We know there's a snake in that one. We're gonna go for that in a second, but we wanna make sure there's nothing else in here. Look at all this big palm frond. All kinds of stuff could be hiding in here. Let's take it in. All right, there's nothing there. There's nothing in it now. We just want to scan the bottom. As you can see, the pool is all dirty. We want to get all of these coconuts out because all kinds of stuff could be hiding up in it, up near it. So we're just going to toss these coconuts out. Now, I'm going to get in the water right now. I think we're going to try to get this, this snake. Let's pull this in. Let's see. I don't think there was a snake in this one. I think it was the other one. We're going to have to take a look. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. But guys, there are snakes literally invading my pool right now. That's everyday life here in South Florida. Doesn't bother me. Okay, here we go. There's the water snake. We're gonna leave him in there. Now, luckily for me, this is not actually a chlorine pool. It's actually a salt pool. So I don't have to worry about the harmful chemicals potentially hurting the water snake. Look at his little tail right there. He's just hiding up in this palm frond. Okay, he's in here. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move this out of the pool. Oh wait, I can stand back here. I didn't realize I could even stand. Now I'm gonna take this, we're gonna look in here. We're gonna see what we got. Is there any sort of a snake? Is there any sort of a, oh wait, what is that, what is that? Okay, I don't see anything. I don't see nothing in here, wait. You wanna take a look? All right, we're home free, we're scot free. Now we're gonna take this palm from, we're gonna take it over to the shallow end so we can check the snake out. Let's go guys, let's go. We're going, we're moving. Okay, we're here. Look at this. Brown water snake right here. Look at this guy. Look at this beautiful brown water snake. Oh, oh, where's he going? He's taking off, he's taking off. Look at him. Be nice, buddy. Be nice, look at this brown water snake. Now, if you handle him with the right respect, you won't get bit, but he's just been living in the pool right now. Look at this beautiful guy. How did you get in here, buddy? We're gonna have to take you back to the canal. It's often confused with, ah. Oh, uh, this snake right here is harmless and it's often confused with the invasive pythons as well as cottonmouths. Look at this little guy right here. Bring him up close to the lens. Do you want to bite? Don't be mean, buddy. Don't be mean. You're a cute little water snake. You're really cute. 
What are you trying to bite me? Don't bite me, buddy. How you doing? Boop, boop, boop. Look at this little guy. He's just checking me out right now. How you doing? Don't strike at me. Don't bite me. Look at him. Hi, buddy. Where are you going? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't go anywhere. Look at this beautiful water snake. Absolutely insane. We're going to take him right now. We're just going to kind of just bring him along over here. I think this is my little buddy right now. I don't think he wants to hurt me. Guys, what do you think? What should we name him? We're going to release him in the canal. Absolutely gorgeous snake, but we still got to search for more animals. There could be something else in the pool, guys. I'm not sure. Let's check the skimmer out. We're just going to bring him with us right now. We're going. We're moving. Let's open the skimmer up. Let's see what we got in here. Anything in here? What do we got? Don't go away. Stay there, buddy. Stay there. Let's see, what do we got in here? Let's, oh, let's lift it. We got nothing in here. We got nothing at all. Look at this, I think we have a new friend here at the preserve. Gorgeous brown water snake. I don't think there's anything else in the pool. We got our cane toad. Unfortunately, that lizard was dead in the pump and we got this brown water snake out of our pool so we can relocate him back into the canal, back into the wild where he belongs. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's absolutely insane to me that the change in pressure from the hurricane caused snakes to come into my pool. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a name for this cute little guy. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see more crazy adventures here on my preserve. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell. And you all will be notified whenever I post.